My guest tonight, expert toxicologist Dr. Louis Goldfrank, but first, this. Ladies and gentlemen, 90 is the new 32. <laughs> Last year, Americans spent over $11 billion on Botox and plastic surgeries, making America arguably the most wrinkle-free country in the world. Of course, I'm sorry, I need a moment. Our forefathers would be so proud. Of course, while millions of Americans apparently enjoy being shot in the face, some may ask, hey, wait a minute. Isn't Botox a drug made from a neurotoxin produced by the bacterium Clostridium botulinum? And isn't that the same bacterium that causes botulism, as in the potentially fatal condition one can get from eating improperly canned foods, fermented foodstuffs, and sometimes honey? Well, yes and no. Botox is from the same bacteria the botulism is from, but while it may be harmful to some, ah! Botox is not dangerous to a person receiving a proper dose. You see, toxicologists, those hardworking folks tasked with keeping our food and environment safe, would define toxicity as a chemical's ability to poison or harm the body. It depends on the exposure to the chemical. The dose makes a poison, and poison still rocks, by the way. Conversely, something you wouldn't think could be toxic can be. Take water, that liquid we love that comprises 96% of iceberg lettuce. When taken in too high a dose, water can lead to problems. Don't believe me? Just ask the marathon runner who altered her brain function because she drank too much water. Go ahead, she'll tell you. If you're obsessed with water, please get help today. Well, that's about all the time we have. Join us next time on Toxicity Today when we further discuss the sometimes not poisonous and sometimes very poisonous world we live in and die in.